Let A, B and C be events in the sample space S. Which of the statements is consistent with the event that 1. Only B occurs, 2. None of the events occur? We'll consider question 1. We'll look at which of these statements below is consistent with the meaning that only B occurs. Now the first answer is B. It's useful here to draw a Venn diagram. So I've got the set A, B and C and they're contained in the sample space S. The red stripes here denote the set B from which we can see that this is not consistent with the meaning that only B occurs. Why? Because this bit here denotes that A and B occurs. This bit here denotes that C and B occur. This bit here is that A and B and C occurs. Every year I get students who think that B means the same thing as only B occurring. Well, the Venn diagram shows you that that's not the case. Next, we have set B and the complement of A into section C. The way I'm going to deal with this is I'm going to, first of all, draw a Venn diagram for each of the components here. And then I'm going to link it together and draw a final Venn diagram, taking this into account, this operator. OK, B. Well, that's obvious. That's this. I've drawn that here, shaded region B. The complement of A intersection C, that's everything outside A intersection C, given by this Venn diagram. Now, I'll combine these two to do the final Venn diagram. Um, now, which region do I shade here? I shade, what what uh, region I shade is determined by the operator here. Um, these two sets are linked by the intersection and that means uh, we shade uh, the region that is common to both uh, B and the complement of A intersection C, and which is done here. Now, this region here denotes that a and C, uh, A and B happen, sorry, and this one is um, B and C. So we can see that uh, this does not mean the same as only B occurring. Next we have the complement of A union C. In red here we've shaded the region of A union C but we want the region outside that, so I've done that in blue. Now this bit here is B only, but we shaded everything outside as well, so um, we can see that this is not the same as saying that only B occurs. Anything outside the three circles means that uh, some event occurs which is not in, element, not in the sets A, B or C. Finally, we have not A and B and not C. Using the same technique as previously, um, we draw a separate Venn diagram for the components. So this one is for not A, this one is for B, this one is for not C. Then I combine them into one Venn diagram and we, the region we shade depends on how these components are linked. Well we've got here the intersections so that means we shade the region that's common to all three of these Venn diagrams which gives us the final result from which we can see that it is indeed that only B occurs so this is correct. Now I know that when students first start studying sets in probability um, they can find this a bit complicated. But what I've shown you is that you can break the problems down using Venn diagrams uh, and you should find that it gets easier with practice. If you've got any questions you can get in touch by www.statisticsmentor.com